Um, yeah, so I saw that and I got thinking, you know, there's so much technology now. Is there some technology that would be unfair? It does, does it give you an unfair advantage? That's it. Like, it. Where do you draw the line? And and honestly, posing the question just that way isn't I don't I don't think fully encompassing, right? Because it's not just is it unfair? Does it just does it give the animals a disadvantage? And and where where should we stand in all that? You know what I mean? It's I don't know. Either way, I I could just read what I posted. Yeah. So uh, because it. However, I worded that elicited a good number of responses. Yeah, no, so, it, it worked out good. I mean, it, you kind of left it open. You yeah. know what I mean? And that uh, that was, I think, that was important to kind of not really drive the conversation. So I basically said, uh, looking through footage from last year, and I came across this still. It got me thinking: Where do you draw the line on technology in the woods? Do we owe it to the game to be as accurate as possible by any means possible? Or does something like a range-finding bow sight give us an unfair advantage? I just said it's an int- it's an interesting thought, and I've been having this internal debate for a couple days now. And I just went on to say that I think it would make a good podcast topic, and I'd like to hear people's opinions from there. I mean, it just... Well, they didn't disappoint. An onslaught of comments. In a good way. Yeah. And, you know, and and again, this this can't be overstated enough. The The level of decency... Of all the people who were commenting, I mean, it got a little hairy in a couple conversations, but even still. It was, I mean, for there were some people that were opposed to crossbows, and there were people mm-hmm. that were pro-crossbows, and it didn't really get too disrespectful. No, not at all. But, I mean, either way, you should be able to state your opinion, and I, I'm, that's it. I'm fine with that. Yeah. You know, if, if you're that's against crossbows, fine. That's, that's what, that's what the, the question was posed, like, what are your thoughts? You yeah. know, so people were pretty respectful. Even in some of the a, a couple of volleys that I saw where they were disagreeing, they still kind of were complimentary at points to yeah. each other. So, yeah, I, we got to thank you all. Uh, for for being like that, because that's one thing that Mark and I have been consistently trying to hammer in uh, to the whole mindset is like, let's just keep an open mind. Hey, if you want to do it your way, as long as it's legal, it's cool with it. Yeah. Just, I yep. may not agree with it and like it or do it, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. No. You know, and uh, so kudos to you guys, man, because uh, you guys really came through on that. Yeah, and even in... Outside, like, the the biggest amount of feedback we got was on the original post on the Sons of the Hunt Facebook page. But then even on, I, I posted it in a couple of groups, and even there it wasn't too bad. We got a couple guys, you know, offering me advice as yeah. to how I could make myself a better hunter. So that I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> I'm just jealous I didn't get any advice. Yeah. <laughs> you, you must not need it. Apparently they <laughs> they think that, I, you know, I could use... A little bit of help, but not my intention of the post. But either way, um, some you get of the what you get yeah, some of the the comments, you know, were things I didn't even think about. What and one of the one of them that really got me thinking was uh, the apps like Onyx, right? Right. Stand. Yeah, yeah. Because the more I thought about it, I was like, well, and it it does kind of give you that that. I don't want to say unfair edge, but I mean, I could sit at work thinking about going hunting in the afternoon, click on my stand on this app and see the future wind direction. Yeah. I could slide the little slider and watch as the wind moves. So it's like, okay, well, I'll be good going in the and then the cone. wind's going to change. And it's just like, man, imagine if like Native Americans had this. I know, right? Like... <laughs> There might not be any animals left. Well, well that's the thing. And that, that kind of goes back to even though we have all this technology, I mean, geez, you know, 100 years ago, 110, 15 years ago, without any of this stuff, yeah. we still managed to almost wipe out white-tailed deer completely. Yeah. The antelope, turkeys. I mean, they were hunted almost to extinction yeah. without yeah. Onyx maps. Without True. lighted knocks or range finders or any of that. No so, Ozonix? No Ozonix. No oh Ozonix. And I, that's a good that? one. I like the Ozonix conversation, but you know, there's, uh, it, it, I like some of the advantages. And I guess my whole thought process is as soon as it starts to um, ruin the challenge for me, 
that's when I'm personally out on it. Because, right. I mean, you, you, there's got to be a certain level of challenge to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, you're, just, you're never going to replace woodsmanship. There's just no way. You yep. can have all the cameras in the world, but if you don't know where to put them, yeah. what good are they? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You're going to need a thousand of them if you don't know where to put them. Uh, so you got to have a sense of woodsmanship, and I think that's what needs to be uh, kind of taught as you're bringing new people into the, into the yeah. into the fray. Yeah. But that's where I think technology could have its advantages with mm. a new hunter or an elderly hunter. For sure. You yeah. know, especially the crossbow debate. You know, my son shot a turkey with a crossbow this last spring. Right. Um, and he's 11 years old. He just he's not comfortable with a 20 gauge, despite the 410 craze. I right. just I couldn't bring myself to commit to something like that. So. I'm like, you know what, let's try the crossbow. And lo and behold, he was dead nuts with that thing. So I was comfortable with his abilities to be like, all right, turkeys are a small target. Um, but I, I was confident he's going to be able to do it, and he did. Yeah, and that's a, that's a huge advantage as far as leveraging a kid to the outdoors. That's That outweighs everything right there right. in itself. So. That's what I mean. So it, it, it's a very gray area. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because honestly, unless you're running around the woods, butt naked, choking turkeys out, right? you're using technology. Whether it's boots, whether it's warm clothing, yeah. whether it's a, a pointy stick, that's still technically, when you get down to the bare bones definition of technology, I mean, a, a flint napped arrowhead is technology. Right. You know, it's, it's something that we derived to give us an advantage in a situation where we found fault. You know right. what I mean? So we... I, I'm I'm cool with it. Like I said, as long as you're not breaking laws, knock your socks off. Because if right. it keeps you out there and you're buying a hunting license and you're buying clothing and you're buying all that stuff, you're you're you know you're contributing. Yeah, and 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 as far as the crossbow thing goes, I know there was a really big back and forth. Yeah, yeah, that. I saw that it, one. That was actually... kind of interesting though. I I, I like the volley, even though it got a little heated, but I like the volley because uh, so there's good points. I mean, there's 29 replies that I'm not looking at that are hidden right now. And then after that, there's 19 more replies. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a long back and forth. And I, yeah. and it, it was good though, because it was, there were a couple older people there that just, they can't pull a compound back anymore. And that's right. fine. I mean, it, I like to think that if for some reason I went out and bought a crossbow, I would hunt the exact same way I hunt now. Right. And I think people don't realize that you know i mean i'd still have my stand set up i'd have my shots set up i wouldn't be shooting more i'd be pre- then you know i wouldn't be shooting more than a certain distance just like i do now you know you'd, i'd be practicing with it all the time and i think that most people have to realize you know the way you hunt isn't going to change because of the weapon in your hand it shouldn't at least right i mean you're, you're right the, as far as the tactics go and the and the way you approach it yeah it's going to be very very similar if, if not exactly the same yeah. Uh, you know, y- your ranges might change or your, you know, your comfort level might change or your ability to stay out longer might change. But, you know, the the baseline is going to usually yeah. stay the same. And, you know? and I mean, I've gotten to the point, I mean, when, when they first came out, I, I was, you know, just like everyone else thinking, oh boy, this is, this is going to be detrimental. And it, 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 it definitely has its negatives. Mm-hmm. I mean, as far as, you know, people being able to shoot one out of the window of a truck, right? things like that. But at the same time, I'm I'm watching people around me saying, you know, I think I'm going to, you know, get into hunting. I'm going to start with crossbow. And I'm fine with that, especially yeah. if, if I'm taking them and I could show them, you know, the quote unquote proper way to hunt or, or you know, the right. responsible way. Sure. I'd rather have somebody... With a crossbow who understands how to hunt responsibly than somebody out there, you know, the the end point is that they're out there. Do you know what I mean? That's you're, it. You're getting them That's there. it. And, and that's a good point you, you made about kind of showing some of the ropes the proper way. I mean, because, you know, you start adding technology on top of technology and you start to kind of decrease skill level and that's going to...